There was two students that went to the University of Oklahoma. Now they posted a video to Snapchat. And in this video, they had on blackface. And we see this so many times. It's like, not like we haven't seen this before. And also saying the N word. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Stop, please. You have too much. That's crazy. No. I'm a nigger. <laughs> now, the two students' names were Francis Ford and Olivia Urban. They were drawn from the school voluntarily. The school didn't make them do anything, but a lot of people on the campus was pissed off. They had a you know, rally, they had about a thousand students show up. Uh, the black student union there, they want a zero tolerance policy to hate speech on the campus. And also they want more African-American uh, faculty there. Now we see this mess every what? 30 days, every 45 days, blackface this, blackface that. You know, we know these people have a sick, demonic obsession with us as black people. And we know that they hate us because they're not us. They just call it what it is. Because I don't see no other groups of people doing what they're doing. And they constantly do this mess. They know people have lost their jobs. They know people have gotten expelled from school and they still do it but yet they're the people that walk around and say they have a high IQ. You know, they tell themselves that because they know it's not true. Because if it was true, they wouldn't do these sort of things. They would kind of keep that to themselves or do that mess behind closed doors and surely they would not post it on social media. That's why social media has been a great thing to expose them for one and also show the reality that we need to understand that we have to deal with in this country, dealing with racism and white supremacy. You do not want to subject yourself to this. Go to a HBCU. You don't have to worry about that over there. If the majority of us would say, you know what, let's go to the HBCUs. Let's enroll there. Let's make these, you know, colleges great, right? Instead of going to these other colleges where you subject it to racism, you subject it to neo-Nazis on campus and you know, some universities say, well, they have freedom of speech too. Well, you know what? You don't want to deal with their freedom of speech. You don't need to be around that, okay? So enroll in the HBCUs. Bring your talents there. And so you don't have to deal with that. I've been talking about this all the time about the schools. You know, we need to stop sending our children to be subjected to racial abuse, discrimination, and just having their spirit just crushed a lot of times just for the color of their skin. We have to start taking more responsibility. I'm done trying to tell them anything. I don't care at this point what they do. I expect it to happen. Now, if you're not that kind of person, then I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about to those who teach that all the time in their homes because you know no child know anything about a black face or racial stories or whatever. It's taught by their evil parents. It's just that simple. So we have to take responsibility as a people, instead of begging them for hate speech policies, why don't we care ourselves and withdraw from the universities and say, I'm going to the HBCUs, that way I ain't gotta worry about your policies and hate speech and anything else. Do what you want, have all the fun you want with racism, we're not gonna be around. That's what we have to do. So we can take those billions and billions of dollars that uh, we bring in in a lot of you know track and field, basketball, football. I mean, if those, the HBCUs are winning the national championships every year, trust me, it'll change the game all the way around. But we have to stop thinking that the white man's ice is colder. And that's one of our biggest problems in the black community. And we would rather deal with the racism that we deal with in certain places instead of doing things for ourselves. And we gotta change our mentality. I'm not telling them to change theirs. Well, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this particular story. I promise you, you'll see this again, probably another 30 days, maybe 45 days. It always happens. You know, they, like I said before, they just obsessed with us and it's just sickening.